Today is October 17th and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Anjana Dassam. Here are today's top stories. Israel, Israel's Foreign Affairs Minister saying today the leader of Hamas is dead. Israeli forces killed Yaha Sinwar in southern Gaza today. This marks the end of the year-long manhunt for the militant chief. Sinwar was born in a refugee camp and spent years in an Israeli prison before gaining power. He served as Hamas's leader in Gaza since 2017 and is also believed to be the mastermind behind the last year's October 7 ter terrorist attacks. And moving into New York, nearly a decade after Father's Day melee shooting that happened in Syracuse, the City Common Council rejected to pay $850,000 to the family of the victim shot by the Syracuse police officer. Gary Porters was at the Father's Day party where officers stated that it turned into a chaotic and violent fight. Porter was shot and killed by an officer who claimed Porters had a gun. Settlements talking are ongoing, but the case can reach a trial if no agreements are made. And over to campus now, Syracuse University Ambulance is now offering CPR training for students, faculty, and staff. Trainees will now learn how to provide CPR to adults, children, and infants. After completing the course, members will be CPR certified for the next two years. The program fee is $50 a person and will take place this coming November. And the National Resource Defense Council, along with medical providers and Syracuse residents, have released a letter urging Syracuse and state officials to address the high rate of lead con contaminated water. This letter in this NRDC says, quote, the test results strongly indicate that Syracuse is in a water safety crisis and that they, quote, believe much more should be done immediately to make the public aware. Testing reveals more than 9% of children in Syracuse have high levels of lead in their blood. The letter comes just after weeks the Biden and Harris administration issued a final rule requiring lead pipes and drinking water systems to be replaced in the next 10 years. And coming up, the Student Association announcing a fan favorite comedian for Saturday Night Live is making his way to Salt City. Find out who after the break. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes, B, console her, don't worry, sweetie, this is going to happen a lot, or C, find her a new boyfriend? Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Welcome back to Citrus Teen Now. Now, now joining me at the desk is our weather anchor, Jackson Breslin. Jackson, I know you anchor a show similar to SNL at Citrus. So get this, the Student Association announced it will be hosting a comedy show with fan favorite Saturday Night Live comedian Marcelo Hernandez. The free of charge event next Saturday marks the end of SU's Latin Heritage Month celebrations. Tickets will be available starting tomorrow for SU and ESF students and staff. Yeah, I think it's great. You know, I, I'm lucky to anchor the university news cycle, which is a weekend update adjacent. And so being able to see Marcelo Hernandez, I think is going to be a great experience. I I'm know, excited. and seeing him blow up on TikTok recently and seeing Ariana Grande's appearance on SNL, you know, I'm sure students are going to be super excited to come to this event and, you know, get more excited about SNL. Yeah, well, you know what also is really funny is the fact that it's this warm in October. Now, taking a look at our temperatures right now, well, it is 56 degrees out and it's not a cloud in the sky and eight mile per hour winds. So it's really nice outside and taking a look into tonight. Temperatures are going to drop down to 43 degrees. It's still going to be clear, but it will be a little bit chilly. So if you are going out tonight, make sure that you bring a jacket because as the night goes on, it will get a little bit cooler. Now taking a look at our three day forecast. This is what's funny. 71 degrees in late October, 65 degrees on Friday, sunny, 69 degrees on Saturday, sunny and then 71 on Sunday. I'm ready for this, but I'll have your full five day forecast on News Live at 6. Anjana, I'll send it back to you. Thanks, Jackson. And coming up on News Live at 6, our Tyler O'Donnell will be live outside the SU fraternity Phi Psi with the latest on the controversial videos leaked on social media yesterday afternoon. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us on Citrus TV News on X and Instagram. I'm Anjana Sam. This news continues in an hour with Alana Epstein and Ronnie Perillo. Have a great night, Syracuse. <laughs>